Hi, this is uh, Tutor Nick P, and this is Quotes 197A. Okay, uh, the quote today is by Richard Mayberry. He's a journalist, an author, and a historian. Uh, and this is his quote. It actually has to do with Thanksgiving. And his quote is, The reason for Thanksgiving, deleted from the official story. So maybe over time, this story was kind of taken out and changed. The story that we sometimes hear today when we uh, read the history books and they teach us in school may not really be as accurate as you think. Just like I've talked about in other um, videos, sometimes the stuff you read in the, in the school books or the history books may not be exactly what is correct and true. So let's go on. Let's look at it again. The reason for Thanksgiving, deleted from the official story, uh, is socialism does not work. The one and only source of abundance, you know, doing very well, having more than enough, is free markets. And we thank God we live in a country where we can potentially, potentially means possibly, you know, because sometimes it seems like even, even in a lot of the Western governments, sometimes they are moving more and more towards socialism, uh, have them. Okay, so let's take a look at the note here. Uh, the first Thanksgiving harvest in 1621 was not as bountiful, it means they didn't have more than enough like we hear in the stories. Like in the official story, they had some, it was actually the first official Thanksgiving, but like 1622 was terrible. 1622 was a really bad famine. And they had a lot of years uh, like this. Uh, many colonists died due to famines, and most were lazy and stole. <laughs> That's not very nice for the story. Uh, in 1623, Governor William Bradford, all right, so he was the governor of them at that time, uh, tried to figure out a way to get the best harvest possible. To correct the situation, he changed their economic system, which was originally set up as a socialist system. Originally, they were required, uh, or they required all the profits and production be put in a common stock. Uh, a person put in all, the, uh, all he produced, but was only supposed to take out what was needed. The system did not work. Yeah, because, you know, not everybody wanted to work so hard because they weren't getting it all. They were only allowed to take out kind of what they needed. So they didn't work as hard. They didn't put as much into it. And maybe other people tried to get out as much as they could. So the system didn't work. All right. So let's continue. Uh, Bradford uh, wrote, all right, this is what he wrote when he was talking about it. Young men that were most able, meaning like able body, strong, they were good for working. Mo, uh, young men that were able and fit for labor, for hard work and service, complained about being forced uh, to spend time and strength to work for other men's wives and children. So these young single men, they're strong. Well, why should I do all that work for, for that guy and his wife and his children? You know, they, they want, so they want to do it for their own benefit or their own profit. So, um, they decided not to work hard. That's what they say. So the young and strong refused to work. And uh, we, uh, I also, uh, when I read up on this, I also heard kind of the other way too. Even the wives uh, that were, you know, had children and stuff, they were supposed to be responsible for washing some of these young men's uh, clothes. And they didn't want to do that either. Like, why should we wash their clothes? We're busy enough taking care of our own family. So, again, the system did not work out very well. Uh, okay, so Bradford then switched to a capitalist system. He gave each household a piece of land and told them that they could keep whatever they produced or sell it or give it away or do whatever you want with it, uh, whatever, whatever they wish with it. It became a free market and the famines disappeared. Not only did they have such bountiful famines after that, but they had enough that they actually started exporting and they started selling. But when it was under the socialist system, you know, everybody tried to game the system. Everybody tried to either get more, not do much, and that's what ended up happening. 
you know, we can see this in the real world. We could see, you know, uh, countries like Venezuela, which is the perfect example of runaway socialism, failing, having trouble. Uh, we see, uh, you know, and, and we see it the opposite way. We, we see in our modern times, you know, when, if the U.S. and Europe, you know, in recent years, we've moved more towards socialism and it kind of hurt us. On the other hand, China moved more towards capitalism and they were getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, you could see it's very obvious which way it goes, or which way, you know, when people know that they can keep what they're working hard for, they're more willing to do it. Uh, remember, I've also done quotes by uh, Milton Friedman that kind of stress the same idea. Anyway, I hope you got it. I hope you realize that this is actually connected to our first Thanksgiving. Anyway, thank you. I hope it was informative. hope it was food for thought. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.